What's up guys, Gamer Gen here, another episode of Clash Royale, and I'm back from two week hiatus because I was on vacation. So let's right get into a video real quick. Um, obviously, um, I have a quest here. I'm going to open up a legendary king's chest at the end of the video, so you want to stick around for that. And right now, we are on this challenge, which is basically climbing up the arenas. Um, today, I want to show you a deck that I've been using from Arena 7 um, all the way to now Arena 9. And I will continue to use to Arena 10, 11, and uh, Legendary Arena. And I'm pretty sure the deck will be good to win um, continuously without changing much. And I'm undefeated with it, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can get these challenges done really, really quick. So um, this is the deck right here. Um, yes, the Ice Golem is not unlocked until Arena 8, so you can flop in the Knight in Arena 7. And you can keep the Knight if you'd like, but I switched it up and put the Ice Golem. Because I like using uh, both Golems, I think it's uh, pretty fun to use. And then I have three Flying Units and a Night Witch with two spells. So let's go ahead into a battle. I should go undefeated with this, um, 3-0, because I'm pretty good with this deck. And uh, let's see how we can do. <clears throat> don't like the starting hand much so I'm gonna wait to see uh, them play something before I do anything and that's exactly what they're gonna do they put a bandit I'm gonna go night which it should get in front of the tower before um, let's go here yeah right here and um, we slaughtered him there but we did use a little bit more elixir I'm gonna go poison right there um, and uh, zap you know, I'm not even going to use the zap because I can just use um, the tower to take... Oh, wow, the poison took out the wizard because it was only level 7. Wow, that's weird. Okay. I'm not used to that, guys. I'm used to always using um, zap as well. Um, okay, so um, he went with the hog rider. Got a pretty uh, decent amount of hits off. The baby dragon should take care of the dark goblin. Yeah, that was not a good play by him. And now I'm able to put my golem because I'm pretty ahead in elixir. Um, now he put a P.E.K.K.A, which is a huge problem for us, but we should still be alright, guys. Um, the Mega Minion is really, really, really strong. Plus, I have the Night Witch and the Bats. Um, he doesn't have a Wizard in Cycle. Um, he only has... Yeah, Val okay, Valkyrie's not going to help him much. I mean, if he had a Fireball right now, it would do really good for him. Uh, but I don't think he does. There's the Wizard. Now I'm going to have a Mega Minion on the Valkyrie. In the tower, look at that, guys. Down to 1700. Gonna get two hits off with the flying machine plus the poison, and we're able to take all that out. I'm gonna go ice golem right here. That means the bandit should go down here. I think it should go down. Hopefully, it does uh, with the freeze of the ice golem. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent. Um, a double elixir, I should take them because I'll build a huge, huge attack. Um, He's going to probably rush with the Hog Rider, I would assume here. Yeah, he's going to rush with the Hog Rider. And I'm almost going to let him take out the tower. Because um, he's committing a lot right now. And then the Dark Goblin, that's another waste of a card. Um, that's going to get slaughtered real quick. I'll put a Flying Machine here. Try to take that on as quick as possible. We'll go here with a Mega Minion. And then right here, um, that's it. The tower's going to go down um, right now. And I can start building up an attack on the other side. Which is what I'm going to do right here. While he's here distracted. He's going to go Hog Rider. I'm cool with that. I'm going to let him do that Hog Rider. And I'm going to start worrying about my attack on the left side. That P.E.K.K.A. I'm not too worried about the P.E.K.K.A. either. That should get taken out uh, pretty easily. Just with bats and stuff. So right here. Another P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go. Um, yeah let's go with the Poison here. And then the wizard is obviously still alive, so I need to make sure I take care of that. Alright, here guys, and the flying machine locked on, so that should be GG. Yeah, it's gonna be GG. Good game, well played. Guys, the flying machine is the MVP in this deck. It Once it locks on, it's gonna sit there, and the golem's gonna take all the damage at night, which is making everything's gonna take damage while the flying machine just sits there, hitting the tower back to back to back constantly until it literally goes down. I'll open that crown chest at the end of the video as well. Um, let's go ahead and do another battle. Facing Crisis from Hero, Hero S. Um, I love to start off with the Ice Golem, guys, because I feel like it's just a free card that I can just put down. It kind of protects me on one side. Ok, 
Okay, so obviously this is annoying right here. Um, yeah, so Exo is going to get a decent amount of damage off. Um, nothing too crazy though. I mean, a thousand. It's kind of a lot, but it's nothing, like I said, like it's insane. He used a snowball. What the heck? Weird deck. Um, down to 2200 on his tower and I'm able to put a golem down because he committed a lot right there He won prince uh, good move by him. I mean, I really couldn't do anything to stop it The ice the golem does push it away though. So I'm, now I'm able to have a really really strong attack here Okay, so we go to that ice user. I thought he was gonna have a I'm gonna go ice golem guys because I just want to get the flying machine in here Because I want to be able to snipe uh, the ice wizard and that's exactly what's gonna happen right here. He uses the log, takes out the witch, but now um, I have a golem, ice golem, and the flying machine. So that tower should be done because look at the flying machine again, guys. Locked on. Like I said, once it locks on, it's like it's GG, guys. It's ridiculously strong. I need to make sure that prince goes down because I don't want it to charge. So I'm gonna try to take it off right here. Come on, flying machine. Oh yeah, perfect. Man, the range on the flying machine, guys, is insane. It shoots from so far away, really, really, really good range. And because of that, it does so much work. Um, he went fully uh, strong on one side, it didn't work out for him. Now I'm pretty sure I'm ahead by a lot of elixir. Expo's gonna be really hard to play with the deck that he's using because I have a tower down already. So um, it's not looking too good for him. Oh, I feel like that was a pretty decent ice golem play. I kind of luckily predicted it. Um, I guess and um, do they go down with the poison okay oh they did so I waste the zap but I mean it's okay it's no big deal he's gonna overcommit to a side eventually and I'm probably gonna have to give him that tower yeah so he's gonna overcommit to that side I'm gonna just give him the tower and go night witch over here um, it might move to the left but it's not gonna fully commit to that side okay so I got one bat that print will actually do too much work so I need to put a mega minion there to try to stop him I'm gonna go poison here I'm gonna go with the flying machine here, and this will snipe the expo, snipe the ice wizard. I'm gonna go ice golem right here. And look at the flying machine, guys. It just went for the expo, it went for the Valkyrie, and now it's going for the tower. He goes three musketeers, but it's way too late. I have way too strong of a push, and not only nine seconds to go. I slaughter the three musketeers. Flying machine is still in the middle, guys. It went from the Valkyrie to the ice wizard to the expo to the three musketeers it just does so much work if you play it right guys that was another easy win um let's see what we get from here um furnace okay pretty cool and let's go ahead do a third battle where we most likely go undefeated here and we finish this part of the um challenge okay i actually really like the starting hand i would prefer the night witch maybe over the flying machine but i like starting off with both golems Okay, right here. Okay, I, I kind of figured, I kind of knew this was going to happen. The wizard goes down there. And I'm going to finish off the, um, you know, let's go golem over here. Sorry about that, guys. 5% over this video and soon. I, golem, go. I need this to lock onto the golem. And it sure does. But my um, mega minion is going to get sniped with the ice wizard. But I'm going to put in the flying machine. And hopefully it goes for the ice wizard. Yes, it will. And right there, I switch it goes down. I'm gonna actually use a zap here so that my flying machine. <coughs> I wanted the tower to redirect, but he dropped the mega minion, and that took me out there, so um, didn't work too well in my favor. We're gonna go here. We have the night witch, the mega minion against the hog rider and a <coughs> inferno dragon. That's gonna finish it off there. So we have the lead right now. Um, this deck's a little bit tougher than the previous two decks we faced because it actually makes sense. The other guy had an expo deck that made zero sense. Um, I'm going to go little ice golem right here. Hopefully draw the ice wizard to the ice golem and the tower. Yeah, the tower can finish it off there. And I have a little bit of a cushion of defense to give time for my golem to catch up to um, the ice golem. So we're looking really good right now. He's going to go with the wizard. I'm cool with that because I'm just going to poison it to death right here. There it goes with the poison. Um, I know he has a um, mega minion for my flying machine. So what I'm going to do is just go flying machine. There it is. 
and I put the Mega Mean on the wrong side, but it's all right. That tower is gonna go down, and then I have give me one hit with the Mega Mean. Okay, right here I'm gonna go with the Witch, but the Infernal Dragon needs to get in front. Needs to get in front. I don't know who's gonna get in front. Okay, but the Baby Dragon should take that out. And so close. Okay, 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 guys. 37 seconds. All we gotta do is defend a little bit. And then get a strong push off here eventually. Um, he's gonna overcommit to the right side eventually. Okay, so he's going Lumberjack. I'm gonna go Night Witch right here. I'm gonna go with the Ice Golem right here. He's committing a lot to this one side. I'm gonna go Flying Machine back here. He's gonna take out the tower. I basically have to let it happen. But now I have a Flying Machine over here. Go Baby Dragon right there. He's gonna go with the Infernal Dragon's really, really messing me up there, guys. Let's go with the Zap. Let's go with the little Zap to slow his whole roll down. <laughs> Flying Machine is gonna get killed. But I do have the tower down to 1135. So I'm looking uh, pretty good here. Well, the Mega Minion's gonna get a couple hits off. And we're going to bring it down to 214 and Mega Minions get the last hit off. GG, good game. Good luck and well played. So, guys, like I said, we went 3-0. This deck is going to dominate. I still haven't lost. Let's open up with the Magic Chest. See if we get anything out of this. 1,400 gold. More Valkyries. Some Rascals. More Goblin Huts. Baby Dragon. Okay, I'll take Baby Dragon. Uh, no legendary guys, a bunch of other epics that they don't use. But I went undefeated in this whole challenge using that deck. And I'm going to continue doing it from Arenas 10 through Legendary. And I should be able to go undefeated there too. Let's open up the crown chest real quick. See what we get from here. Um, bunch of commons. I appreciate the rascals though, because I obviously need the rascals a lot. And let's go ahead and open up the legendary king chest. Wow, this is a big chest. 4,200 gold. That is uh, pretty wild. And I'm going to go with the Royal Hogs just because uh, I have less of them. Going to go, I mean, the Skarmy doesn't really make that big of a difference. Obviously, ooh, 1,200 gold, but I'm going to go with the Giant Snowball. Um, go with the Valkyrie here. Right here, I'm going to go with the Balloons. Right, okay, we got a Legendary. I, I think that was guarantee i'm gonna go with the dark prince here because i use it more and then right here come on give me night witch or a lumberjack night witch or lumberjack one of them oh my god guys two cards that i rarely use i'm gonna go with the lava hound because why not oh man so pretty good stuff guys um let's go ahead open up another quest i'll open that epic chest in another video but that's gonna be it for my video guys just wanted to show you that deck and how i go undefeated with it hopefully you guys try it out and let me know how you guys do that's going to be it. Don't forget to check out my other Clash Royale videos for some great content. And I'll see you in the next one.